Right, okay, thank you for joining The Average Golfer. I'm here at Royal Bled Golf Course in Slovenia, and uh, practice facilities don't get any better than this. And this is where we're gonna do this head-to-head -head that I've been looking forward to. King of cast clubs. I think every brand makes a cast club. But for years and years, I think it's fair to say that at the top of that tree, it's ping that have been synonymous with making the very best cast clubs. So we're gonna look at two of their best from last year, from this year, I210 and also the Ping G4 10 irons. And we're gonna put them up against the very new PXG cast club, the 0211. We're gonna test them in here on Trackman and they're gonna get there out there on the course. And then I'll give you an overall verdict of who I think is now the king of cast clubs. Right, okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna get some numbers on Trackman, but what can we expect from each of these based on, uh, based on loft, first of all, because they do all differ. Uh, the 410 is the stronger lofted at 30 degrees, then it's the PXG, it's got 31 degrees of loft, and then into the, uh, the weaker lofted, 33, slightly more traditional in the I210. So straight away, you'd expect from these numbers we're about to record is that the longer club is naturally gonna be the 410, PXG next and obviously into the um, the I-210s as being the shorter in terms of distance. They're all made up difference in terms of what they're expecting to do, maybe aimed at slightly different players, I don't know. We'll talk about their sort of head and shape profile, who they might appeal to, all claim to give excellent feel, sound and forgiveness and we'll measure that out on the course, at least I'll give you my opinion from out on the course. But first things first, let's get Trackman switched on hit some balls and collect some data. Right, okay, so the first thing I want to talk about iron, of course, is how these things look and how they differ in terms of visually, um, in terms of their appearance. Start off with the G410, it's a typical cavity back cast iron that we've seen from Ping for many years. Uh, it's on the bulky side. You can see the offset at addressed in terms of the colorings and the markings. I think that's very much a preference, uh, a personal preference. I think it's an okay looking club. I think again, from the testings that I've done in the past, the one issue I have with this significant issue is the feel or ultimately the sound uh, that comes off the G410. I'm not a fan of that whatsoever. The big positive has been the performance. Again, a very uh, big sweet spot, if you like got some great distances out of it. It's the longest in the test, um, and as you'd expect it to be, down to the loft, but it has a great ball flight, and no issues for me when I've played out on the course or many times in the original testing in getting this ball to stop as well. We then talk about the I210, and again, completely different what they've achieved in this cast club. And for me, the one big difference is, first of all, is the feel and sound. I think it's an elastomer insert or something or other that Pink call this, it's inside basically to dampen uh, sound and soften the feel, and they've done that tremendously well. I like the look of the club. Uh, it doesn't tick every box visually for me. I'd say it's a good looking club without being superb visually. It's smaller, more compact, and again, doesn't look to have any or very little offset address. And again, a more compact overall iron profile, but that ticks a lot of boxes for me in terms of uh, at address and sound and feel. And you've then got the 0211 from PXG. Once again, looks is very much a personal thing. I like this brush chrome finish. Uh, it, it ticks boxes in that sense. And at address again, they've done something very clever, which I've mentioned on the irons before on the individual testing. This chamfered uh, top line gives the, uh, the visual appearance, at least, of, uh, of a thin top line. But there is mass and bulk there to give us that assistance. And again, in terms of numbers, once again, with the I210s come out slightly shorter, and this one sits somewhere in the middle. And that's all relative to loft. But I think with all three clubs, what they do really, really well is the ball flight on them is superb. And although sometimes 
sometimes a little spin, a little low in terms of what spin says in terms of a trackman numbers or a, a launch monitor numbers. I've never seen that to be an issue with any of these clubs out there on the course. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to hit some balls. I've put a bit of a gap in there that's relative uh, to the distance we recorded on Trackman and we'll have a little pop into this par 3, 7th hole here at Ro Royal Bed Golf Club. I'm laughing there because this backdrop is absolutely awesome and what a great place to test some golf clubs out. Now, three shots hit, all at slightly different yardage, and to be fair to the I-210, it actually seems to be performing um, slightly longer, really, than the 33 degrees in terms of loft suggests, uh, just to see how those three finished. Uh, uh, left with the I-210, and again, perhaps a little bit long. Uh, slightly down the right, right-hand bunker uh, for the PXG 0211, but I think the number was right. And again, that final ball there with the G410 is about six foot from the flag. And again, good strike good ball flight is clearly uh, the longer out of these three clubs but like I said we pretty much expect that from the loft. Three shots, three different yardages, all relative to what we found out on Trackman. But the reason I set this camera up, and I don't know, we've got a camera at the back of the green, I just wanted to see whether we could pick up the reaction of what happens when a ball lands on the green. I've got a different swing, if you analyse that swing it's probably different on each one of those shots. As you know, it's not consistent enough. I am really pleased, I hit the green three times from this distance though. The thing that I noticed from back here, and we'll be playing these over now, is every ball reacted very, very well on greens. So. Once again, I've seen it where game improvement, strong lofted irons, 33 degree players irons, the reaction on the green is virtually identical. I have still never seen it, but that's a different video and I've done plenty of them as well. But the point being for me is each one of these irons perform perfectly well in terms of responsiveness of balls into green. This is a seven iron. Number. Okay, so it's time for a summary and I'll try and keep it as brief as possible as I can. We're going to start off with where we, uh, well, where we started this video with some numbers from Trackman. I think the numbers are pretty much as we'd have expected. The distance is uh, relatable to the loft of each club. Uh, the spin number is very, very high for me, but I should point out we use range balls and it was normalised for Trackman conditions. So with a proper ball, I would expect my spin number to drop a little bit lower. Uh, but all pretty much the numbers are, like I said, what I'd have expected. Very brief overview, the 410, great performer, um, hits the ball a long way, again, uh, in relation to loft. Plenty of forgiveness, I think, big sweet spot. It's a big club, it's a big profile. I've got major issues with the sound and therefore the feel, and for me, I would dismiss it straight away based on that alone. I don't know why they haven't got the uh, elastomer insert that's in the I210 in that G410. But anyway, I210, numbers very, very good. It's a consistent performer. They achieve unbelievable sound and feel, and I put that down to this uh, elastomer insert, which dampens both sound and feel. It's incredible. It's a smaller profile for me, it's a far better looking club, smaller sole, but again, these are things that appeal to me on a personal level. And then you've got the PXG club, which again, numbers wise was superb in terms of the distance, the, the launch angle, um, 
spin again was good and carry what I'd expect from a 7 iron with that kind of loft. I love the looks of the PXG and again I say the sound and feel is something that I just can't get my head quite round from a cast club. It's very hard to recognise it and I'd like to do a test, if we could do a blind test of someone hitting forged against that cast club, I think it'd be very hard push to try and differentiate between the two. That's just how good it is and don't forget I'm a massive fan of forged clubs. The one other thing I'll throw into the mix, uh, talking about the PXG uh, offering as well, is it's a combination set. It's very much from uh, the gap wedge into 7 iron, it's a player's profile, smaller head, and then from 6 iron into 4 iron, it becomes a little bit more bulky and perhaps a little bit more confidence inspiring, a little bit more uh, bulk at address. And again, that's something that appeals to me. The idea of combination sets in irons, I think, is a superb offering for a lot of players. So, the overall summary would be this. All very, very good clubs. For me, the i210 is by far the outstanding product in a ping range in terms of cast product. I've got a real issue with the G410 in terms of sound. But the club ultimately, if I'm if I'm being asked to find, you know, this video, what who is the king of cast clubs, then PXG have come up with a product which is unreal in terms of a cast product because of all the reasons I've just stated. But you can't throw PXG into the mix of a video like this without referencing price. The two ping offerings are 110 per iron, the PXG club is £200 per iron, that's a huge huge difference and what you've got to ask yourself is for a lot of golfers that'll be switched off straight away, they wouldn't entertain that price category and I totally understand that. So for me obviously price is a huge variable that plays its part but if you're asking me who is the king of cast and the best product out of these three is the PXG 0211s. It is an absolute superb all-round product but as ever with PXG it comes with a price tag and for that that's down to your pockets and what you decide to spend your money on. Anyway that's enough from me. Thank you to Royal Bled for letting me film this video out at this idyllic setting. It really is superb. Like I said keep your eye out for plenty of videos that are coming from here. Comment down below, hit that like button and as ever I think it's time for a pint.